Hey, this is Scott. Um, had you guys remember the good old days? Well, at least all any of you who are about my age. Who was born in the late 70s? I was born in 78, so that would make me about 34. And back in my day when I was young, I used to play a lot of games. Well, hell, I still do. Now, one of my favorite old-time uh, systems was the Nintendo 64. Now, I want to share all my all my current N64 games with you, but just to keep in mind that some of these games I either never had until recently, or I had you know, or I'd had them, but then I traded them away, decided to buy a new copy of them. Um, well, let me start with some classics here. Um, see if I can find. Okay. Um, actually, <laughs> better yet. Let me start with the very, or should I say, one of two of the very, very first N64 games to ever be released for the system. Mario 64. Now, for any of you who, who is too young to remember this, or to have been around when the system came out, Back in the day, I actually, unfortunately, I couldn't tell you the the year because I had to do my research. <laughs> the only other game that came out with this um, on launch day of the system was Pilot Wing 64. I always thought that was kind of funny that there are so many different games out there that was released for the N64 that had something, 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 64 at the end. Just like with the N, or just like with uh, Super Nintendo, it was always. Instead of just being Mario, it was Super Mario. Okay. Mario. Next, one of my absolute favorite games for the system was The Legend of Zelda. As you can kind of see, this copy might, I don't know, yeah, you can kind of tell that it's its a bit worn. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> that's the funny thing. I, I always found it funny that there were so many copies of this game out there where the label always got worn. Like, why is that? Was it because of the gold labeling? I don't know. Uh, if someone knows, please leave that in the comments down below. Next was the sequel to that in my gold uh, cartridge of, can't remember the name, uh, Majora's Mask. Yeah, yeah. Another fun game, but it was always a little stressful, if not kind of scary, because of the whole three day apocalypse story setup. Um, now, this. Perfect Dark. This was one of the games that I remember having. I bought brand new, but then I I don't know I don't know why I decided to go out and trade this thing in. Why I don't know. I have no clue. But then I decided to go up to um, to a used game store, and I was looking around through some of the classic games and 64, PlayStation, that kind of thing. And hallelujah, I found this. I bought it for, I think, $10. You know, not a bad price, I suppose. Uh, some might say that's too much. Some say that's just right, whatever. But I'm just glad to have this game again. It was it was so much fun to play. It was so fun. Especially multiplayer. That and Conker's Bad Fur Day. That was another one that I got rid of that I wish I'd never gotten rid of because I'd be showing that to you right now. But I can't. Conker's Bad Fur Day. Oh, I love that game. Especially multiplayer again. Um, now we're going to get into the uh, games that I actually have gotten. I mean, aside, aside from Perfect Dark, which I, like I said, I bought and used, all these others were definitely used as well. Um, I remember always loving Hexen. Um, this is the first time I, I, I'd ever owned this particular copy of the game. But I used to own Hexen on disc, on CD, on uh, the CD-ROM. And I thought, you know what, I was such a big fan, I'll get this copy. Obviously not nearly as good as Hexen 2, but, you know, but you, you can't complain too much, I suppose. Now, not the best. I didn't like the, how the game saved on it, because you always had to use... So let me show you if I can find it. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, you'd have your controller, right? Of course, you'd always have to save it on these little memory cards here, and I don't know how, however many of you guys remember these things, but 
I've 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 enough N64 games that use this that one of these is just not enough, and then I don't think I even care to be finding another uh, of those. I, I don't even you can't even call those cards, can you? The memory cards, you know. Anyway, um, then I had Star Wars episode Episode One Racer. I remember having this game, but then I traded it away. Like, I loved the racing. You know, I can't say I was the biggest fan of episodes one through three of the movies, but I think the, the game version of the of Racer was so much fun to play through. It was, I mean, I, I had played this one, uh, this version as well as the one on Dreamcast. It was pretty uh, pretty cool on both, co both versions, except that uh, the Dreamcast one was obviously graphically superior. But, yeah. Um, what what could you do? I I never owned a dream uh, Dreamcast myself, so I got what I could. Next was uh, I can't say this is my favorite, but I had picked it up anyway because I loved uh, Rush twenty forty nine. But San Francisco Rush Extreme Racing, eh, it's kind of simple, not exactly all that great. I'm not I'm not all that impressed with it. Then again, I only bought it for five dollars. <laughs> Yeah, see, now this is not a paid advertisement at all, you know, it's CD Game Exchange, that's where I buy most of my used items. Um, next was the a copy of Extre or Excite, Bite, Excite, ugh, Excite Bike 64. Not a bad game, really. It's cool that you can actually play the original in here. Oh, no. Screw you. The computer just talked back to me, asshole. <laughs> anyway, the last game that I had, Duke Nukem 64, baby. Yeah, pretty good game. Um, not the best. Definitely can't say it's the best. I think so far my favorite um, out of all my old classic uh, Duke games was uh, Duke Nukem Time to Kill for the PS1 and definitely Duke Nukem 3D for the PC. Best. That one was by far, hands down, the best ever. But this was pretty good. Um, the funny thing I thought about this, though, was uh, with Zero Hour, was that you had to have... Oh, you didn't have to, but you could have, you could put in the, the expansion pack that, that you could get for the uh, N64, and it's supposed to help make the system display, you know, crisper graphics and higher res images and whatnot. But when you would turn on the 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 high def, or I guess what you call the high res version of this, it actually slowed the game down a little bit. It, it made the, excuse me, it made the, uh, the the animation slower. But when you turned it down to, high, to, to low res, it made the game a little bit more playable, but you couldn't, you know, have the nicer graphics. Anyway, that's about it. That's all I wanted to share with you all. Thanks for watching my video. Please like and subscribe and tell your friends about it. Oh, and comment too. That'd be awesome. Thanks.